What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you this awesome robotic vacuum made by Zig Lint. All right, open it up. Here it is. There's a protective cardboard right there. We don't need that. Packaged pretty good. If you guys are interested in this product, check out the link in the video description below. There's also gonna be a discount code if you guys are interested. That link supports the channel at no extra cost to you guys. Here's the remote, takes AAA batteries. Thank you for including the batteries. Here's the filter. Looks like there's two filters right here. So anytime um, you clean the filter, don't clean it um, wetting the filter because a lot of people are saying that it collects bacteria if you wet the filter. So uh, if you can, um, just you know, lightly hit it on the side of the garbage can and get all the dust out that way. And here is the vacuum. This is a very slim design vacuum. A lot of the other um, 360 mapping vacuums have this little device on top, which adds a little bit more bulk to the vacuum. It makes it taller and gets stuck under couches. So here's the bottom of the vacuum. This seems like it's pretty easy to maintain. It has these clips right here. You can remove the brush. Let me see. Yeah, you can remove the brush and you know untangle hairs and stuff like that. Uh, it has pretty good brush right here and there's a rubber strip. So I like the design. I know what to look for now. I had a few robotic vacuums and I can tell you that the ones that you can't maintain, I don't like. And the ones that don't have this rotating brush, it really doesn't pick up too much um, cat hair and dirt and debris. This center brush, rotating brush, really does help big time picking up a lot of you know, extra debris. And these right here shocks really help climbing up on area rugs. And also look for um, a big um, container like this. This is a really big container, uh, collects a lot of debris. A lot, you know, sometimes you'll see small containers and that's annoying because you got to keep on like emptying it and it'll vacuum will run with a full container and it won't pick up any extra debris. Actually, it might even make a bigger mess. Right here, these charging pads. Sometimes the charging pads are really small and they don't line up properly on the charging dock. So it's another thing to watch out for. So you see this is a white one that goes right here. This is the left and then the yellow goes to yellow right here and sometimes it might like these side brushes they do help um, pick up in the corners of your room these side brushes really do help so also look for that I think most robotic vacuums have these side brushes anyway but um, right here this is one thing to watch out for see how the like, side brush covers the um, charging pads this is pretty common of um, a lot of robotic vacuums so sometimes you might have to lift it back up and rotate it. So keep that in mind. Most robotic vacuums have an on and off switch or a reset. Um, it does help because sometimes you know it gets stuck or you might have to reset it. And to reset it, you just turn it off and turn it back on. Another way to reset it is uh, unscrew this, take out the battery, unplug the battery for maybe like a minute and plug it back in. That's another way to hard reset these robotic vacuums. Hopefully these tips do help you out. And if it does, give me a big thumbs up. And let's go ahead and remove these side foam pieces right here. And this one actually has a bumper. So it'll bump into like furniture and back up and go the other way. It also has a sensor and it could sense that if it's uh, on like about to fall over, you know, a stair, then it'll back up and go the other way. So it has an edge sensor, so it knows that it's near the edge of your stairs. Uh, it also has a bumper. Works pretty good. And it senses uh, walls and chairs. So hopefully, um, and well, if it doesn't sense walls and chairs, then it'll just bump into it and then back up and then go the other direction. But it should sense most objects and you know stop before hitting it. And I'm gonna see if the filter is already in here. So we'll go ahead and remove this right here. It's 
So this is another filter that you see. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, so it looks like it comes with spare uh, filters. Plugged it in. Let's see the charge. So I'm gonna turn it on. I think that's on. Welcome to used sweeping robots. All right. So the green light turns on. Let's go ahead and see if we could charge it. So press the charge button. Recharging mode. So it looks like it's working. So charging start. Uh, so you can schedule your cleaning right here by pressing this button. Uh, this is the vacuum power button right here, and this is the um, charging button. When you press this button, it'll go to the charging dock. And you can actually navigate it manually and start and pause it. All right, so now we're gonna um, connect it to my Wi-Fi so I can use the Amazon Echo or the Google Home to control the vacuum. You can just pause the screen and scan the code, but basically the app is uh, it's called we back app. Go ahead and register the device. Hit next. So we're in. We just had to go into our email and uh, enter the verification code. So uh, we're gonna now select add a device. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow. Scan this code right here. And click on allow again. Please confirm that your Wi Fi is 2.4 gigahertz. And it is. Now you're gonna have to restart the device by turning it off and on. Turn it off, wait a second, and then turn it back on. Welcome to used sweeping robot. And then next, press and hold this button for five seconds. Connecting network. Click on quick mode. So now it's connecting. All right, so it is connected, hit finish. Network connection succeeded. It tells you the battery life. So we have about 60% battery life on the robotic vacuum. Let's go ahead and select that. You wanna go ahead, of course, and we're gonna select update. Now, if you wanna connect your robot vacuum to the Amazon Echo or the Google Home speaker so you can control the robot vacuum, you wanna enter the WeBack app on your phone, press and hold the icon, then select third party connection, then select Alexa control. This will give you step-by-step -step instructions how to link the WeBack app or the vacuum to the Amazon Alexa. Then you wanna go into the Amazon Alexa app, select the menu, go to skills, and you're gonna enable that skill, which is the WeBack app. So after you link the WeBack app to the Amazon Alexa, It'll give you actually some samples how to control your robot vacuum. You click on settings and right here it says it is linked and you can add to a group later on if you want. Click on all devices and there you see there's the robot vacuum. We could change the name instead of robot. We're going to change it to robot vac. Makes more sense. And hit save. And for now on that command Alexa turn on robot vac and then it'll start cleaning. Once again you go back and click on third party, click on the Google Home and it'll give you step by step instructions how to connect to your Google Home. Similar setup on the Google Home and you want to enter the Google Home app and you want to go into your added device, setup device, and it's already set up. We set up the app already. Click on the bottom one. And once again, we're going to look for the WeBack app and link it or enable the skill. And go ahead and log in. And we're going to authorize. And after that, then it should be linked or synced to the Google Home app. And it takes a couple of seconds and then it should be fine. And give it a couple of minutes to sync and then you scroll down look for in your room click on the vacuum and then we could change the name to instead of robot it would be robot vac which makes more sense and then hit save
All right, so let's enter the app. And it is mapping out my house right now. After about one hour, it cleaned 564 cubic square feet. Hey Google, turn on robot vac. Okay, turning the robot back on. Alexa, turn off robot vac. And this is all the debris picked up. I think it's a pretty good vacuum, especially for the price. It has all the same features as these three $400 robotic vacuums have for half the cost. You know, around $200, it's not a bad price. So I'm gonna leave a coupon code in the video description below if you're interested. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you know anyone that's interested in a robotic vacuum, click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. And if you want to check out my other videos, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.